Okay, hello everyone, I am Ray Mandicoot and I am joined today by my friend Zew, he is also a, a speedrunner of this game. We are going to be playing a 2017 remaster of Class 1 Insane Trilogy. Um, this is the Any% percent category. There is a... Uh, the, the main goal is to just get to Cortex at the end of the one in this category. There is one gem to collect on the way, I will explain that when I get there. Um, I'm pretty much ready to go though, so... Zio, are you ready? I'm ready, as yeah. long as you're ready. Okay, I will give the countdown what? then. Yeah, that's fine, once you're ready, I was just going to say, once you're ready, just count down and we'll begin. Okay, five. Uh, give us a fairly longer countdown, because it's not quite 1pm just yet. Oh, there, so there, there, there. Slightly longer, give us about 10 seconds or so. And okay. we should be fine. I I'll wait for it to say 1 o'clock on my time then. <laughs> yeah, no worries. So yeah, the, the gist of the one is we just get into Cortex as fast as we can. <clears throat> Ten seconds. <clears throat> one o'clock. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one, go. Good luck. Okay, so we, we begin our adventure on Insanity Beach, where Crash is apparently washed ashore. Um, I'm going to be getting as many boxes as I can, because the more boxes we collect, the, the less time we wait on a box animation screen at the end of the level. It basically speeds up the one a little bit. Also, I'm going to be jumping as much as I can, because that increases my speed slightly. And also, I'm going to be getting triple masks as much as I can, because that increases my speed. As long as I stay on the ground, my speed will be maximised. Yeah, it's about 25% movement and speed increase from what we can tell. Yeah. So, whilst I'm in mask form, I'm going to stay on the ground as best as I can. And that was the first level. <laughs> nice and simple, nothing really difficult here. Yeah, you could see also when Ray Mandica was going left to right of the screen, he's trying to basically cut as much of the actual running as possible to save as much time as he possibly can. So that's why you sort of see him go to the left or to the right, try and cut off that extra bit of running he has to do. Yeah, I'm just basically going for the shortest routes if I can. So this level is pretty much like the first one. I will be neutralizing the master form as best as I can. It's pretty much the entire way through this level. You actually have to rate slightly on on one mask here though, otherwise you, you don't get the mask form. And if you don't, it's slower. Like yeah, that. A lot, a lot of people usually ask us why do we wait, and this is the reason why. We may lose like two seconds to waiting for it, but we do gain like an extra like two or three back from actually be able to skip all the actual rollers. It's about four we'll seconds. Keep the two masks, yeah. So we can try and keep the second mask form for the start of Great Gate. I'm gonna go for a tight skip here that I can hopefully get as well. Which I did. Beating those rollers is incredibly tight, and if you fail the movements too much, you're not going to get that skip. So, that was a nicely done skip. Yeah, no, that was nice. Well done. And that's jungle rollers. <clears throat> so again, I collect as many boxes as I could. So I spend this time on this screen. Yeah, as as, as uh, you were saying earlier, we want to try and collect as many boxes as possible because every box we collect is like 0 0.15 or 0 0.2 seconds off the actual about animation. About 0 0.15, so. we, we think. Yeah, roughly about that, 0 0.15 to 0 0.2. I have no idea exactly the precise amount of time it saves, but it's about that per box. So, if you break 20 boxes, that's about 4 seconds saved. Yeah. Um, the first three levels are very similar in respect to using the mask form to get you through the level. So, um, the change comes, oh god, I didn't really do that. The change comes next level. That's fine uh, because that's unfortunate. it doesn't really matter because I actually lose my masks after this level anyway. Yeah, so I guess you can literally just try and jump into the actual spikes and go over that way. If you want to try and feel brave enough, or you can just wait for it to go down. It's just, I lose the mask form here. And that's a great gate. <clears throat> nice. So things start to change a bit more on item 2 in respect to what I have to do to save the most time.
And this will be our first auto scroll there of the run. Well, it, it's not really an auto scroll there, I guess, but you've been chased by a boulder. But which is not good, so my advice is to run. Is to run as fast as I can, yes. And on this level, I'm going to leave just one box alone. So I am spending the least time on the box screen. You'd never want to get the gem because um, if you get the gem, it actually wastes a lot of time. Because Crash does this long animation of collecting the gem. So I mean, we, we don't want to do that. We were talking about this last night. I'm oh, sorry. We were talking about this last night. Like, we weren't too short if you actually break all the boxes. If it's like, like faster than literally leaving one box. But from what we can tell, it's so minuscule that it doesn't really matter. But if you actually physically pick up the gem, it'd be fine. Yeah. So, a bit of left and right here because we're trying to cut off as much distance as we can. It's very technical actually to learn the left and right to this level. Okay, and uh, our first tough jump of the one actually comes up now. There's a skip to jump across a leaf moving against you. And it's, it's quite a tight jump, like if you time it slightly wrong, you're likely to die. So let's see if we, we get it. Which is this one here. Yeah, you have to okay. basically try I and stay it. as forward as possible and try and go as quick as you can because every frame counts here because you've got that leaf skip. If you try and break every box or you go deviate too much left to right, you won't be able to make it and you'll have to either wait or reset back to start again and try again. Yes. <clears throat> So you're spending a lot of time on this level waiting on leaves, unfortunately, because that's just the nature of the level. And on these slippery log, log sections, you best to always jump because that slows you down otherwise. Also, I just did a little manipulation there by jumping outwards and back to manipulate this leaf to come forwards. So I don't have to wait for the leaf to come to, to me. So far, only one little mistake on the Great Gate, which is not one I usually make, I must admit. And this is our first boss. Yes, the first boss. And the immediately, mighty Papple Papple. Yes, and immediately we're gonna jump on him. You don't even have to wait. Yes, the mighty Papu Papu. He likes to eat lots of food. And sleep. And sleep. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I like actually how in this version of the game as well, that's like a nice little nod back to the original. You could jump on his head from the very start, like in the original yeah. game. But in the this version, he has two extra hit points compared to his three back on the original. That is correct. Which is a nice little change. Also, you may have seen me just jump into his belly there. It actually saves me jumping onto his belly afterwards. It saves like a second or two. So yeah, if you were to have gone on the actual right uh, far side of the actual room, you have to do like quite long jump animation where Crash focuses on Papu's belly and jumps towards it. They're literally just like going right through his belly and just going straight up into the roof of the actual hut and go straight through it. So I just did some two tough cycle skips there. It's pretty precise. Like, you do need to be on the right side at the right time, otherwise you get a hit. And this level is very mask form intensive as well, so you don't really want to lose the mask if you can help it. But it, it's very nice to have mask form here, especially because you don't have to wait in any of these rollers at all. Yeah, it's super nice. Because having to wait like a second for each roll or a second and a half, it would be incredibly painful. And here I'm going to run it on some scenery because that's also faster. It's kind of risky though, like, you have to always be running against a wall, otherwise you just fall and die. But yeah, it, it saves you jumping. So we utilize our mask form speed more. <clears throat> Alright, now now we're gonna kinda of to protect our first auto scroller. Oh no, this is definitely an auto scroller. And Crash is going to be leaping on a hog and going through a bunch of tribesmen and spikes and pits and bongos you, and You could say he's about to go hog wild. He is indeed about to go very wild. And there's a cool, there's a cool little thing about this level. Like if you time the jump on the frame perfect point, he 
goes into a frozen animation like you just saw me do there and it's hilarious. And it's actually slightly faster to, to get those, but to get them all the time is very hard. Yes, but it has to be a perfect input every single time, but it's if you can get like four times in a row, it's hilarious. Like it's, it's like they've got springs in his legs. Spring loaded feet! And again, just like on boulders, I'm going to leave only one box alone. So I only have one box landing me at the end of the level. So I'm going to leave this box on the left alone. Usually the easiest break every one. every box here, either. you'll be forced to collect the gem. You can't not collect the gem if you grab all the boxes. Yeah, you cannot dodge the gem at all on this level. Even if you technically go to the side, it still grabs the gem anyway. Yeah. And now we're going on to a level with a huge difficulty spike. This is one of the hardest levels in the one, believe it or not, actually. And it's on Island 1. Yeah. It's a very cycle-intensive level, and I'm going to try and catch as many cycles as I can. Yeah, if you need me to take over here, let me know. And like, yes, I think I could do with you talking a bit more here. This is a very focused, intensive level. Got it. Yes, yeah, so what you saw um, Ray Manicucci do just there, he actually didn't have to jump on the turtle. You can actually get the angle just right. You can actually spin the turtle behind you to grab the box. You have to actually wait for this cycle you just went past. But yeah, out of all the levels, it's probably the most technical level out of all of them because there's a lot of cycles you have to get. If you're a bit too slow on any of them, you will fall behind quite a lot and have to wait for longer cycles. So yes. this is probably the highest level in the whole run, apart from maybe one other technical-wise for skips. Indeed. And if I can keep my mask form for this next bit coming up, uh, I can skip TNTs completely and I will be able to just blast through them. There we go. Very cool Very nice. strat. Yeah, if you don't have a mask there, you have to wait about 3 seconds to be able to break all those crates and get over before the TNT explodes. So you just be able to just run straight past them, which is super nice. So far, so good, actually. Yeah, it's going really well, actually. Going behind the actual fence, so you can actually skip about a quarter of the actual of the, the second tier. Have to wait on this one. Yeah, like you, most people do, you should do anyway. A lot of time, that's fine. It's still good. Also, one thing I have to also put out as well that the flame cycles aren't as accurate as they appear. They actually weren't. I don't know if they have to say that they're properly programmed, but the actual flame cycles actually don't appear as close as they seem to be, or also end when they appear to be either. So you can actually go a little bit earlier, but you have to wait a little bit later at the end, if that makes any sense, on those flame gems. And that was a clean native, actually, yeah. I that can't was complain indeed. with that at all. <clears throat> Very nice. Yeah, that's, that's all, pretty much the most highest level done, really, or at least most technical level finished. This is honestly harder than most levels in the next island, believe it or not. Yeah. Not all of them, though. There this are is... a few hard parts in Island 2, but at the Nate Forest is probably the highest level to actually pull off properly without actually losing cycles in time. Yeah, um, this is a very chill level in comparison to. <gasps> Sorry, what we just did. Um, this is just a harder version of Upstream that we did earlier, but it's still pretty simple level. There's not a lot of difficulty to this one at all. No, not much more difference. It's you just have to, more added things. again, wait a lot on um, leaves. <laughs> Fun. And then, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. It's like we, we've tried for months and years trying to find really any way to actually skip those leaves, but there's nothing we can do about it. So you have to just sit out and wait. We would need the uh, speed text of class 2 and class 3 in order to make such skips. Class yeah. 1 is very simple compared to class 2 and 3 in terms of techs and the only real speed tech is to jump and neutralize the invincibility form speed. It's more about making cycles and making tough jumps this game compared to the other two. Yeah, since Crash only has jump, jump and spin, that's, that's all he has compared to like slide um, slide, um, slide, um, slide high jump in Crash 2 and 3 and anything else. Hmm. Crash, it's only where Crash has jump and slide at disposal, so you have to make all the jumps count. And we are going on to our next boss after this. <clears throat> the infamous Ripper Woo. 
the crazy kangaroo. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a cool damage abuse here. I do believe I had a mask. Yes, I do. So immediately, I'm going to jump to the top here, and as soon as Ripperu starts to jump to the bottom right platform, I'm going to jump on the TNT, and it will hit him. And for this next TNT, as soon as he gets to the middle platform, I'm going to spin it. And for the final, I just immediately go to the top left TNT, and that's Ripperu. That's the fast way of doing him. Very nice. <clears throat> So, next level is where things change up quite a bit because I'm actually going to be getting my first gem of the one. You're probably wondering why would I want a gem because that's slower. Well, this is a cut of gem and it allows me to skip an entire level later in the one called Castle Machinery. So I'm going to try and get this gem. If I die at any point in this level, I will lose the green gem though and I would have to play Castle Machinery. So hopefully we don't have to do that. And that was an accident. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. I think I might lose one cycle now, but it's fine. Yeah, I did. But yeah, in, in the NSYNC trilogy, um, when the creators of Vicarious Visions developed these levels, he had to not only collect every box in the normal level, he also had to collect every box in both the Torna and the Brio bonus stages to be able to get the gem. So that's one more thing you have to do for uh, the NSYNC trilogy to get the green gem compared to the OG, you only really have to just do the normal boxes. So you noticed I waited on a pillar earlier there. That was because I wanted to grab a mask up above, which is hidden. It helps me do the next skip I'm about to do. I will damage myself on a, a torch to skip a cycle. Ah, that was unfortunate. I was trying to make that cycle, but I couldn't. So here's the damage abuse here. I skip waiting on one of the pool boards. And this will be my first bonus of the one, an embryo bonus. <clears throat> it's full of TNTs and death. <laughs> In this bonus isn't too tricky to do normally, but we have to try and do it quickly. It's actually pretty difficult. You got to spin just at the right moment. If you spin too early, you won't be able to break the actual box. You'll be stuck to do the normal way. Yeah. If you do it too late, you'll hit the TNT and you'll just fall right it's, down into the chasm. It's quite a chasm. precisely timed spin when you're coming down on the. TNTs yeah. because if you do it too late, you will just blow yourself up. So far, so good. I just missed up one cycle, so it's not like end of the world. <laughs> yeah, as you can also see as well, J uh, Brain Manicus trying to like jump around as much as he can so we can try and save as much time as possible to make certain cycles. And yeah. now let's do the Torna bonus, which uh, you don't want to try and do the way normally, you want to try and, try and spin away all the boxes as fast as possible. And you'll see he'll be using a almost like a frame perfect jump in a moment to break all the boxes while going around. Yeah, and that was well done. Fun more way. You Very don't nice. want to bounce you don't want to leave any of those um multiple bounce boxes alone because they just waste so much time if you, you leave them alone, so that's why I spun them all. That's pretty much the fastest you can really do that that bonus. The puppy can make and it a that's my green fast, gem. Not much faster. So now Very I can nice. skip castle machinery later on in the one. I will show you why this is such an important gem to get later. It is the one and only. Yes. So, this level is also cycle intensive, there's a lot of pillars moving up and down, which I'm going to try and catch. Um, this is the good cycle, you don't want to miss this because otherwise you have to wait ages on them going up and down, it's not fun. Also here I'm going to try and go for a spider snipe, hopefully it works out. Nice. That was good. 
Very nice. And again, I just did a little manipulation there where I jumped out to activate the flame just there I, I jumped over. Basically, by jumping out, I activated it so I didn't have to wait for it to, to light up at any point. Yeah, because it's just break this five boxes and it's then you can just go straight forward. Actually made to slow you down, but we basically do that so it doesn't slow us down. It, the flame is basically already finished by the time we get there. This one you have to slightly wait on though. And the tough little pillar section at the end of the level. But so far so good for this one. And I get my mask form for Road to Nowhere, so that will be interesting. Ah, the Road to Nowhere. The Dark Souls of the game. Yes. As people say. If many of you have, have played this game before, you will no doubt have absolutely disliked this level for its difficulty. And I'm going to be using a mask form to one on the ropes on the side. So this is where it gets harder. I'm gonna jump over the TNTs in this instance because they can block the vision a bit. So I've decided to play it a little bit safer just for marathon sake. Yeah, uh, in the original versions of the game on console and on, on Switch, um, PlayStation 4 and Xbox, um, doing the actual rope, the rope running was actually a lot harder because in the console versions of the game, uh, the hitbox wasn't actually like a, it wasn't a square one like it is now, it was pretty yes. like an oval shape. So you had like almost no grip on the actual rope, so you just like up a lot easier. So that luckily in the PC port, it turned the hitbox from being an oval to a square or a rectangle. Can't remember. Was it a rectangle, was it? Yeah, pretty much. So you saw me just sliding down the ice there to actually increase my speed. It's a pretty risky strat, but it's a good one if you get it. It does save time using the ice. You have to time the jump really precisely at the edge though, otherwise you fall in the gap between the two ice platforms. But there we go, that was nice, that was clean. That was good, there. This is, so far, coming on quite well actually. Alright, time for the final uh, chase level. Yes, this is a, a much longer boulder level than the first one. And there was some moving pillars on this one, so you have to be a bit more careful with your jumps. On the first one you had no moving pillars, but this one has many. And there's quite a distance in between checkpoints on this level too, so dying is quite a big time loss. Also I'm going to try and jump over some of these fences here to save me time because they can boost you forwards like that. It's very not noticeable but it does boost you a bit forwards. <coughs> and you can get up to like 17 boxes on this level which I've got so that's the maximum amount of time save I can get from breaking boxes. The rest are in a gem platform which is not in this category. That is for completion. Also, since this is not much more to say about this level, have there been any donations worth calling out? Uh, we don't have any donations at the moment, but this is a good time to say please go and donate if you can. Uh, extra if I've donated in the chat will bring you up the tilt to find link, of course, to the UKSM event today and over the rest of the weekend as well. Uh, if you would like to donate, then all the proceeds to Tiltify also go straight to Special Effect. Our goal is to reach £1,000 by the end of the marathon, so if you can donate, please do so, because Special Effect are a fantastic charity, and they help kids get into gaming. Let's let kids be kids and stuff like that, and uh, let's help out as much as we can by donating as well. So if you can donate, please do so, because every little helps, and all the proceeds go direct to the charity. Thank you. So we are now on to Sunset Vista. This is the longest level in the one. It's a very long level. It's a good like... I can't four remember how long. Minutes, four minutes 40. It's pretty long there. Um, 
And yeah, uh, there's a lot of cycles in this level too. You may have noticed at the start of the level, I just went to skip a frame that you're actually meant to wait on. But if they're fast enough, you can beat it completely. It's quite a time save to get that. Um, yeah, so there's about three climbs on this level. Um, here's the first one. There's not really a lot to say until I get to the top floor, really. Just jumping, catching cycles. Yeah, I will much. damage myself Ooh. here. Yeah, so you try to damage yourself so we can skip uh, having to wait. That was good. That's a tough one to catch, like... Yeah, that, that was close. You have to good. jump really precisely to catch that cycle. This checkpoint, we actually skip it, because if you don't skip that checkpoint, you have to wait ages behind these walls that are coming out. So it's not something we go for. It's like about 10 seconds you have to wait something like that, which is ridiculous. It's very long there. So also we skip that checkpoint. Also, uh, Ray Mandicoot, uh, basically just uh, break all those boxes and jump on the two stacks, so we can actually skip an extra cycle. So you can go straight up, on, up and over, so you have to wait for the next lot of... Uh, Platforms come in and out. Yes. I'm going to do a little sketchy jump here as well. Nice. And again, I'm going to 3D reins out, out here as well. And what's coming up is the toughest skip of the level, where I'm going to literally go around these pillars coming out here. Hopefully we can get it. Very nice too. Very nice. That's a hard one to get. Like, you can't stop at all. If you run into the wall, the good chances are not going to make that. So you have to get that pretty precisely. There's maybe a tiny bit of a delay, but there's really not a lot. No, you have to be really precise all the way through. And if I'm correct, I'm probably one cycle too fast here. So I might have to... There. I have to write on that. Yeah, unfortunately, for some reason, when the developers made uh, this level, they didn't make the cycles completely like perfect, so, like, like in the original, where no matter what one you were on, you could go for every single next one above you all the time, but this one you have to go only on certain platforms will be on the right way for you to go up, up after that. Don't know why yeah. they did it like that, but I guess it was just the design choice. And that was the longest level in the game, as you can see. <laughs> Very long level. Very nice. Yeah, thank you. It's about three and a half minutes long, actually. And we're now on to our only RNG of the whole game. Thankfully. Karada Kong. Everyone's favourite friend, RNG! Yes. The reason this boss is RNG related is because he moves at any random point before he throws the rock. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Koala Kong can go to, I think it's four different spots. He can About go to either, literally, like, yeah, like, like two steps to his left and throw. I'll go to the middle and throw, he'll go... And this is, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good already. <laughs> he went yeah, all the way to the left. The, yeah, he went all the way to the farthest left he can. So that's already a bad start, unfortunately. There is also a skip you can do for this um, fight called the Koala Kong skip. Uh, it requires you to change, though, the... We don't have to actually change the frame rate down to 30, but... Even like the top runners can't do it at 60 frames, so mostly everyone will take down to 30. The and when he throws the boulder towards you, you can try and like hyper jump and jump over the actual visible wall between you and Koala Kong. And you can just spin him and do two damage each time, it's time to do one damage. The success rate is so incredibly low though that I just didn't bother. I've hardly ever had it in a one, so it wasn't worth it. Yeah, it's... It's the it's, hardest skip in the entire game. But if you can get it, it's like between like 30 to like... 40 seconds no, time save? about 20 maybe. 20 seconds? It depends, yeah. Mind it's... you, if, if you, you get the weird bug where you only do one hit, it can cost you like extra like 10 or 12. But it's so inconsistent, this is not worth it in a marathon. No, it's not worth it. You'd, you'd, you'd better just to try and keep the mask for uh, next time coming And up. if you really want to optimise your time saves the most of that, you have to be good at menuing too, which I'm not the best at doing, so... So we're on to Island 3 now, which is our last island of the one. Um, we are basically in Cortex's... Um, domain. Domain now, yeah. That's why we are in a factory. 
did. Oh, it's a base. Oh, I'm not sure actually. It's just like a factory, or it's the base of the castle. Yeah, it could even be that. I never was sure what this was, but it makes you wonder. I guess technically it would be like the base of this castle, the base where keeps always like main is is main things running all the way through like oh. the factory places. That was unfortunate. I, I clipped to dead, so I couldn't go for this cycle skip I wanted to get. It's okay though. I didn't use my masks. And this is a very clean one so far. I haven't died yet. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> and there's a steam cycle to skip here, which is kind of tight, but we got it. Very nice. I could well die here though, because I'm going to try and sew off this strat, because it's worth sewing off. Are you going to try and do it? Are you... I'm going to try it once, but if I fail, so be it. Good I will only try once. Yes, what he's going to try and do, he's going to try to jump off all the pipes. So nice, wait for the I did it. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, nice. my heart was just found in there, Very man. Nice. That's, that's pretty hard to do. Uh, I bonked on the wall, anyway. This is kind of hard too. I bonked again. But I still yeah, got the it's... cool strat. Yeah, that's really the good. The pipe skip is that's really good. hard in mass form. The, the chances of slipping off is harder than taking damage without mass form, actually. So, although I bonked, I didn't really lose any time because I got that strat. I'm glad I got that in a mass form because it's so cool. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. So, this is uh, another mask intensive level coming up. It's very key to have a mask here actually because you have a lot of zappers to, to get by otherwise and they're hard to dodge if you don't have a mask form. So it's good to have it here. I mean there are a few ways you can do this level. You can either take the damage there on purpose but I'll just have to afford that first mask box. And you can grab the third oh, mask form I on the stopped. bottom or you can grab the uh, one at the top and then you break this one right here and then you can go afterwards. And I'm going to damage abuse on, on that because I don't want to wait for the cycle to come back. Yeah, very nice. Ah, I tried to dodge that, but it was just slightly too too late. Oh, that's so so close. I was so close. I knew I had to be on the right, but I just didn't quite make it. So I will unfortunately yeah. not have a mask form for toxic waste now. Yeah, third mask form. But you get to enjoy the awesome music of the level instead. <laughs> It's one of my favourite soundtracks in the entire trilogy, Toxic Quest. And this is a very hard level, so let's see how I do here. There's a hard diagonal skip, like halfway through this level, that I'm gonna try and get. It's it's precise, like you have to jump at the right angle on the right point, otherwise you just die. So let's hopefully get it. Yeah, there are a lot of things you can do in this level to save time on cycles. Like five. Five different close. things you can do here. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I got it, indeed. but it's so tight. A, a, a jump. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's so many things you can try and do. So you can just see that um, Rayman could just done like a pretty jump around the actual um, robot. While on the actual like, little platform, it's really hard to get right because your sense of direction and depth perception here is incredibly skewed. Or, or, or skewed, so it's really hard to tell where you're meant to jump back onto. Like so far, he's pretty much done all the hard things this level, pretty much. Yep, yeah, I got through. <sighs> this level is scary on a PB pace, like, very scary a level on a PB pace. Yeah, and there's one, one more thing you can do here. If you actually get a free perfect spin jump off the hot pipe, you can go straight onto the next platform. But it's really difficult to actually do it. But, but we didn't die. Things. Very nice. The only errors of this one is using a few mask forms and maybe bonking a few walls. Yeah. It's actually a very really clean good. one. Perfection is very difficult to achieve in a speed one, as we all know. <laughs> Especially in a marathon setting where you can't reset at all. So there, yeah. this level I'll just be jumping over barrels the entire time. It's a very straight forward level. 
<laughs> there is literally, you, you can only go forward pretty much. Either stop, go to the right or left, or go forward. It's challenges is at the, towards the end of the level where you have bouncing barrels thrown at you. But I'm going to 3D range around them if I can. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize you can actually jump around the barrels. At some places it's really hard to try to jump around them, but you can actually do that. Towards the end Maybe. it is. Yeah. So here comes our first bouncy barrel. <laughs> and I just jumped around it like that. Here you can yeah, jump to the people... right. Yeah, most on. people don't actually realize as well, like in on the actual ground, like these little cracks in the actual ground, and that actually like a little indicator of where the actual barrel actually will be when it lands. Most people can't tell, they like run too far ahead or too far back and get crushed. But if you actually look carefully, it's like a little crack on the ground, you can see where the barrels actually land. That's probably the toughest bit there I did. I had to jump on the edge of that small platform to dodge that barrel without Very stopping. Nice. So you can, you can try and take two masks into high road. Indeed. Well, slippery climb. But getting through the high road without dying is the hard bit. We want to try and keep our mask all the way to slippery climb for an out of bounds skip, which is not the most consistent of things. So if I don't get it, don't be surprised. That's if I don't die before I get there. That would be nice. Yeah, you can see that also uh, Rayman is actually waiting one cycle here. It doesn't go for Puru straight away because if you go from on the first area, You'll do one extra animation on the third hit, it'll go to left, right, and left again. So go from right to left after one um, free cycle for him. Yeah, and you've got to wait behind the chairs for the server, otherwise he hits you. And the last health is interesting because I can actually just stand under this table and I won't get hit. And as soon as he jams his gun, boom. Yeah. Let's see if, let's see if you, you can get the machine gun jump. I don't know how to do the machine gun jump, mate. Yeah, disappointing! <laughs> ah, it's only something like that's funny. It's not a big deal. It's still no, funny it's enough to, to go behind him at the end there, as well. So yeah, we're on to the hardest bridge of all of the one now, on, and a level that many would hate. Yeah, I've seen uh, loads of people that game over here multiple lucky. times. I slipped off the rope and I luckily landed oh, yeah. on a, a small platform. I saved that really well. <laughs> we are going to be using the ropes as much as we can because this is a hard level. We don't really want to not use the ropes if you can help it. Yeah, because you, you trying to do the level the intended way is so much slow. You have to wait for the turtles to be in exactly the right, right position. If you go too early, you just don't have enough distance to make the jumps at all. You have to wait for them to walk all the way back. You have to jump on the turtle, then you have to jump on it, and then do the long jump over to the next area and reach repeat. Using the ropes is so much easier. Whew, I was a bit far right at the rope there, but I corrected my movements just about. Oh, yeah, that, that was close. I kept my self together there. <laughs> this is a hard devil, man. This is, is so easy to die on. You okay. Make, make little, <laughs> little, little, if you don't, you should go off left or the right. But yeah, well done. Thank you. I get to go for hyper jumps now. If I don't die before I get there. So I'll, I'll try to explain what you're going to try and be doing when you're making your way there. Or if I get there in one piece, it's worth explaining this. I'll explain when you get to the bottom of the first staircase leading up towards the spikes. No, I didn't get both boxes. For some reason that box too is not to break. It's fine, it's fine. It's better yeah. to cycle them. <laughs> it's not a point fifteen. <laughs> you can go for a lot of boxes here because you have to wait on cycles, so... I'm not going to go for these two already. this time. Yeah. These boxes probably can it's like which ones can you break up with some cycle? That's basically what you have to know, what you can and can't break. Yeah, you can't hang around, you've got to make the decision straight away. Okay, we're on the climb towards the hyper jump. Right. I'm not going for the, the toughest one here. It's yeah. very, very, very hard. I'm going to go for the easier one, higher up. Yeah. So basically what you'll see um, Ray Manicute about to attempt in a few moments is a thing called the Hyper Jump and it requires a very specific amount of input, direction and also um, button presses to actually try and get crashed and get stuck underneath the spike 
and when usually when Crash gets hit, he gets a burst of momentum to like use the actual effect of it. But if you Aww. actually don't underneath it, like he's trying to do nah, now, nah, I didn't get it with both damages, unfortunately. Oh, it just unfortunate. didn't give me it. Basically, you have to spam as soon as you get under that and hope that it throws you really high up. But I unfortunately didn't get it. But yeah, if you do get it, you actually go flying past that little spike that went past now at the very top of the staircase. And you can go up and above the actual the roof of the level and you can just run all the way across the right hand side towards the end of the platform. You're basically on the wall. But if there's yeah. one thing I don't have to worry about is counting the amount of jumps I have to do because it's completely blind. I would ask for quiet for that if I came. But I didn't get it. So. Sometimes the camera can get stuck, other times it can be, it depends on roughly where you land to the right on when you actually got on that platform. But sometimes the camera can get frozen, other times the camera will follow you all the way so you know where you're going. But if you get the camera locked, you have to try and like count, jump, or count specific things, or... So I haven't actually done it myself yet, but you have got to listen for something and then you've got to like, <coughs> guess when you fall off. This is still going really well, despite not getting that big skip. Yeah, it's still a really good run. We're coming up to the last, like, what, three levels now? No, still a bit more than that. We've got, like, five or six, I think. Light, light, lights Out, Jaws, Jaws of Darkness, Castle nah. Machinery, where you get to see the skip. Shh, that doesn't count. <laughs> no, I suppose it doesn't count because we skip it. Yeah. <laughs> because of the green gem platform. It's our best friend in this one. Green Gem is our best friend. But the Lost City is not our best friend because that's a, a level we don't want to die on. <laughs> so this level, I haven't explained that, but I'm basically breaking these Accu boxes to give me light. He doesn't give you like invincibility on this level, he just acts as light and it's on a timer so you have to get to the next box before you run out of light. I forgot to explain that. Yeah, if you wait, wait, wait too long, you'll literally be left in the darkness and the lights are out. Yeah. That's why it's called Lights Out. Yeah, also, in this version of the game, in Entertainment Trilogy, compared to the original, as long as you just you can know the level layout, you can literally just jump straight forward every single time because the cycle will always be there to catch you as long as you go for it. Oh no. That's not good. I could die here. That's my first death. That's the same I didn't beat that cycle. Damn, that's unfortunate, dude. Yeah. Oh well. I'm really gonna get all this way. What with your first death? Exactly. That was unfortunate. I just didn't get the double get a team skip this time. I think I will just not go for it now I died for marathon reasons. That's what I was trying to skip, but it didn't work out this time. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Almost was deathless, you know, actually, so yeah. really proud of the one. This is a very hard game to be deathless on. I do have that in my PB. That one was incredibly good. Yeah, as you can see now he's entering Jaws of Darkness, which actually has the highest box count in the entire game. This level has like 112 boxes. Yeah, 112. Top of the screen. And unfortunately, we're only going to be grabbing about 30 of them, so we're going to have the longest uh, box count after this level. Also, these crosses tend to glitch out if you get to them too fast, so don't be alarmed. It can, it, can really, it can really be jarring if you actually get a really weird cycle. It's happened to me sometimes where like, they'll, they'll, they'll close shut, they'll open and close shut again straight afterwards sometimes. Yes. No idea why it causes it, apart from maybe being a little bit too early on the cycle. So there I took damage because I didn't want to wait in the flame. And I'm going to do another diagonal jump again here. Ah, oh, I didn't get it this time. Damn. It's a small death there. I'm going really to go for it again. Right off the spider. There we go. Second time. Fortunately, uh, he'll have no more mask now from now until the end of the game, unfortunately. Yes. Which is sad, I don't get to do Cobra Skip now. I wanted to sew that. 
Oh. I have to wait it's on the flames now. I have I mean, sewn up quite a few strats though. Yeah, he could actually get a mask, but it would require him to die on purpose five times, which is not worth it. Don't know why I did it that way, but it still works. Why not? He had to wait anyway, so. Yeah. Which I wouldn't have if I had the masks. But you can't get every strat you want to sew off, can you? Not unless you get the best I one. Crash to get left unconscious by like 70, like 80 boxes. About 90. That's it, yeah, 80 boxes. Yeah, Crash is going to get destroyed by boxes, poor Crash. <laughs> oh, I also forgot to say, if you hold yeah. down on the jump button, you go through that quicker than if you didn't press any button at all. Hold any button at all. So this um, is why we got the green gem. What's what I'm about to do now? It's machinery. Here we go, guys. It's going to be a long level. It's going to be a stuff. really long level. Really long level. That was incredibly long. Cool. <laughs> Ooh, that was hard. <laughs> it makes it look great. Oh, So yeah, then that's, that's why we would get the green gem yep. from Lost City. So having to do like a two and a half minute level, you wait, you take like forty seconds extra to do like the two bonuses, but you gain like extra two minutes back from getting doing that level skip. So this is time. probably the hardest boss in the one. Like this boss is hard. You have to be yeah, careful like with this boss. Also, I did a little thing there. Where I made him smash his potions because it made him skip. An animation. Yeah, you can it, only. The next animation, like he's doing now. You, you can only do it on green throws, so. And here's where he throws six potions, so I'm gonna do a bit of left and right to dodge them all. Like this. And now I'm gonna go for a hard strat here. Hopefully, I can get this. Uh, he's not giving me that. That's unfortunate. If he doesn't give me a little bounce, I can't go for the fast strat, and he just didn't give me it, so... But I was still able to do the backup one. If you can't do the first one, the second one's still a really consistent safe way to actually just yeah. get higher. So what I was trying to do earlier was, I was touching him very so so slowly, so he would give me a, a little bump right in front of his face. And then I'd be able to jump on him at a precise moment and skip an entire health. But unfortunately, he bounced me back twice. Get yeah, something like a three second time save, you can get it. I think like three or four seconds of time save, you can get it the first time. It's actually uh, six seconds lost for failing really? that. Six seconds there. Damn. And it, it cost me my 43 once, so it was kind of upsetting. But I eventually got it. That's uh, in IGT, which you won't be seeing. That's yeah, it. that's uh, it's probably actually um that's like, that when we play run this game, we use a load remover because it makes it better for everyone. Otherwise, it'd be the possible fastest like um, no, shooter would have the fastest time. Yeah, so we use uh in, in game time instead of RTA. So we'd, we'd, you'd be on about like what a forty two right now, forty two, forty three if it was with loads. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is the last level, the lab. This is basically where Cortex performs all his uh, experiments and stuff. Okay, and that was uh, a safe lab. A sort of lab. Very nice. I didn't go for the hardest jump at the end, but it's very precise and very failable, so I decided to skip on that. Alright, guys, are we. Have... Are we... Go on. Are, we prepared? Are, we prepared? Are we prepared for the highest level, the Great Hall? This is where Oof. all your skill cuts for your Hard game level. comes in right here. Oh my god, oh, look at that! He did it! He did it! The first try! That was amazing! Oh, and we're on our final game. boss of the one. It's the man himself, Dr. Neo Cortex. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot! Darn you too, Cortex. <laughs> uh. 
So oh, on this boss, man. we're spinning all of the green balls back into him. The rest of them will kill you if they touch you. You can only spin the green balls. Yeah, this fight takes about um, about roughly a, a minute, 10 seconds, a minute, 12 seconds, depending on how fast... 114 on average. In IGT, not in RTA. We're, we're almost getting ready for time, but another couple more phases and we'll be there. Yeah. This is the hardest phase, like, you want to move slowly to the right and then jump as he shoots the third one. So you don't run into, into any of the balls. And time's going to come up as soon as I hit him for his final health. Time. GG. Thank you. <clears throat> and that is Crash 1, any percent. I hope you all enjoyed that. Well done, that was a really good run. Despite a few mishaps, I am pretty happy with the one, yes. Right. Okay, that was uh, the end of that. I think I did miss time there because I don't think I heard it properly, but that could have been just my fault, but don't worry about it. Uh, final time on my side of things, 49.32.23, uh, which is about five seconds. Yeah, about four behind. seconds off mine. Four seconds off yours there, but... Uh, <laughs> I think that might have been just me not hearing time there, but that's yeah. my fault. I'm happy to Don't get a sub-50 though, because I didn't make that many mistakes. No, that's pretty good though, I would imagine a lot of people in the chat are saying GG's and they a lot are. of people saying it Thank was on good pace GGs, as well. Thank you for the everybody. Yeah, a lot of people saying it was on good pace as well early in the run, so that was really good as well. Uh, we haven't had any new donations in during that run unfortunately, so we're still on £350 donated in total. However, this is a good time for me to say, if you can donate, then please, please do so. If you type exclamation mark donate in the chat, I'll bring up the link for you for the turn to five page to the, uh, to, for the marathon. Um, and we are hoping to raise a thousand pounds for special effect and everything through turn to five, of course, goes straight to special effect as well. They are a really fantastic charity based here in the UK and they help disabled kids get into gaming uh, to play video games. They, use, they help people get custom peripherals and stuff. I think they make their own ones as well. I'm not too sure if they make their own ones, but I certainly know they provide them. Um, and every little helps, especially at this time, because we're all going through COVID-19. Yes. So we're still at the tail end of that, but it's starting to get a little bit worse now. But still, if you can donate, please, please do so, because every little helps. Let's help kids be kids because we want everybody to be you know able to access gaming and stuff like that so please donate if you can uh, do you have any last words you'd like to say i'd like to give a special thanks to the nst community for all they've done to like provide the strats and all the help to everyone along the way zero here i i learned from him actually at first believe it or not i watched his ones in the early days so i can thank him too Welcome. That's good. Welcome. <laughs> um, I just know. Oh, sorry, Cole, hold and on I one, just one like second. I just know. Oh, I just noticed on the old timer it has 0.99 at the very end, so it's very close to 4520. Yeah, that's for my IGT timer. <laughs> yeah. It's I know. So close. <laughs> anyway, what were you going to say, sorry? Cut I was going to finish off by saying good luck to the rest of the runners in this marathon, and I hope their ones go fairly smoothly too. Yeah, so talking of next runs, next up we have. Uh, Iraq Vet 0304 with roll chan for any percent. Uh, we're going to go over to that in just a moment. It's going to start in about 10 minutes time. So I think this is a good time for a toilet break for anybody who needs to go and use a toilet. Go and get yourselves a cup of tea or something, you know, because a cup of tea is always a good thing to have as well. If you need anything, yeah, that was a good time because we have a good 10 minute break to go over. Don't forget also to donate, exclamation mark donate in the chat, we'll bring you up the link. Any donations will be read out during the intermission as well as any donations that do come in, so please donate if you can. Okay, Thank you for so the opportunity, I really appreciate it. Not a problem at all, thank you very much for running today, and we'll hopefully see you again very soon. Thank, thank you. Guys. Bye. Bye.